What's up guys, it's me Omar with another vlog for you today. Um, like I mentioned to you like, guys a couple days ago, I wanted to do a, just a quick uh, equipment video here for my CES. So these are the different things I'll be taking to CES, my whole rig, as far as the video, the stuff I'll be using to take video and get interviews from people at the convention. So um, I figured I'd just go through all these things here. If you wait to the end of this video, I'll put annotations and all these different items because uh, most of these things I've reviewed on the channel. So if you want to uh, see the review, I'll put an annotation at the very end of this video. You can just click on and see that video. Uh, I, I can, I'll put the links below this video as well in case you're interested in purchasing any of this stuff off of like Amazon or whatever. So uh, of course, first off, we're going to have the camera. So we got the uh, the T3i, Canon Rebel T3i. It's the camera I use for all my videos and such. I took that with me last year. And the video quality of the video call is really good on it. So I really like the way it looks. It's not the smallest camera. I used to take a smaller Vixia camera, but I, I actually sold that a long time ago. So this is one I use for all my videos. So I'll be using this. So this on top of this arm, this L arm, which I got from Best Buy. So this basically attaches to the bottom of this. And with this, I can use three shoes. So I got one on top of the camera, one right here, and then one on the side as well. So the things I'll be attaching to that is, one, we have the LED light here. I got a Bowers 120 LED uh, light right here. This is the old light I used to use. I think this is like a, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten LEDs. I went from a ten LED to one twenty uh, LED. So this is what I mount on top of the camera um, for any type of instances when we're on the show. Sometimes some booths are like real dark, or, so, or especially smaller shows like Showstoppers and other little small conventions that are around there. Sometimes it's a little bit more of an intimate, darker setting. So I'll use this for interview. So I'll strap the the, mic, the light to the top of the camera, and then on top of this one, I'll be putting the boom mic. So we got the Sennheiser MK. E600. That was my phone. I apologize. <laughs> Since this is a vlog, I guess I can uh, probably turn this off, right? So no one keeps text messaging me in the middle of my video. So I've got the MKE600. I just reviewed this recently, and uh, Sennheiser was nice enough to let me hold on to it for a little bit longer so I could use it at the show. Really good audio, so I'll be using this on top of here. And on the side of that, I'm going to be attaching the Zoom H1 recorder. And uh, most of the reason why I'm doing this is, well, it's actually twofold. One is because the audio quality that this one records is better and cleaner than the audio quality that the camera itself records. The DSLRs are not really known for really good audio quality. They have the, the feature with the, the mic input in there, but it's just not going to process the, the audio very good. So this does a better job of that. And then also the other thing with this is I have a headphone jack so I can actually hear and monitor the audio. Or my friend Danny that's coming with me, he can monitor the audio, make sure everything is sounding okay. Um, that's something there's no headphone jack coming out of the camera so so using this to record cleaner audio so I can monitor the audio and also it's going to double as a handheld mic as well so that's why I got this little blue muff right here this little sock so that's what I'm going to put that on top of here so during any kind of the times when I want to do an actual interview or hold, holding the mic for someone to interview them I'm just going to do it with this in the past I used a, an Asden wireless mic system and uh, there's so much stuff going through the air so you know other electronic devices and things the quality is never very good when you're using like wireless system, especially a cheap one like the Asden, you know, wireless transmitter and receiver that I was using. So I was never really happy with that setup. But whenever I use this, I mean, this is the recorder. So as long as I don't make too much hand noise with it, and because it'll come through if I hold it real steady and just hold it like this for them to talk into, I think that'll be pretty good. So if I want to do any handheld interviews with people, I might try using this. Otherwise, I'm just going to record, use the boom and do interviews with the boom and then plug that into here. And we'll see how that goes. So that's what this this comes from. This actually is the mount. So this will let me mount this onto the arm. So I actually posted up a picture on, um, I believe, Instagram with this whole thing set up so you can see what the whole thing looks like put together. Got to have SD cards. I got a couple 32 gig SD cards to go with me. That's awesome. I got the RH50. Which ones are these? This is the RH, the Scotia uh, oh, 6056, I believe it is. I, don't, I can't remember the art, it's the Realm series, the on-ear ones. So this is what I'll use to plug into the H1 to monitor the audio while recording. So, very nice pair of headphones from Skosh. Um, next to that, we've got our lock key. This is our uh, our click click safe laptop lock from Kensington. So if I leave my, my laptop in the press room while we're eating lunch or breakfast or whatever to upload some videos, I can just lock it down, be good to go. Got the monopod, probably the most important piece of the puzzle here because I don't want to do handheld video. So. And I'm not going to carry a tripod with me because that's just big and bulky, so having that on a monopod will do a good job of... And I'll attach this to the bottom of this L bracket right here and hold the whole camera rig. And I'll just walk around the show with this on that and then pull it out whenever we're ready to do any types of videos and stuff. So this one's from uh, Best Buy, Dynexus. I think that's Best Buy's brand. Got the uh, Audio-Technica headphones. Uh, this is just in case I want to do any kind of editing. I could use this, this, these ones as well, but you know, there's something that's some smaller earbuds. 
I haven't reviewed this for you guys yet, but uh, so I'm bringing this just in case. Gotta have a backup battery, so I got the Just Mobile backup battery with their, one of their Alu cables. And this is gonna go in my backpack, so if any type of uh, anything needs to be charged, like the the iPad, the iPhone, whatever, this is gonna be. I think it's a 13,000 uh, milliamps, so this will be good for the whole show. I probably won't even have to charge this thing up. This is pretty awesome. Talked about the lights. Oh, the microphone. So we have the MKE 600 boom mic, and as a backup, I'm gonna bring the Rode Video Mic Go. Obviously, uh, the the Sennheiser is a better quality video mic. But just in case, I think it's, you know, this is so small and so lightweight, I'm just going to keep it with me just in case anything happens to the MKE 600. I'll have a backup and I can bring the roadie with me. So that's uh, pretty much it, guys. That's all the gear I'm going to be taking with me to take to take a video at the show. I've slimmed it down a little bit and I've added a few things into the mix every year just to try and simplify a little bit better. Because I really want to get really good visual video content and have good audio for you guys. I can't stand seeing those videos from CES because like you can barely tell what they're saying because it's just so it's so loud at CES. All the booths had loud music and there's DJs and all that type of things going on, people talking. So there's a lot of background noise. So I'm thinking MKE 600 is gonna be a really good job of doing, the, uh, especially with the low cut filter, to be able to block out some of that noise and um, make it make for a good video. So, anyways, guys, this is all my stuff right here. I'll leave these things up for a little bit. I'll put annotations like I said on it. So in case you're interested in watching the review of some of these items that I've done. Click on the picture and it'll take you straight to that review. And if you look in the video description below, um, I'll put links to where you can find all these things if you want to purchase this, like on Amazon. Okay? Anyways, guys, I gotta go uh, finish packing my clothes. I'll be trying to do some more vlogs while at CES. I'll, I hope I can do a, a, like a wrap up video at the end of every day just to show you the type of stuff that we saw and people that we talked to. And we'll be doing, like I said, interviews and actual full videos from, the, from different booths and such. So expect to see all that content on the channel. And I'm going to try my hardest to upload that throughout the week because I don't want to wait till the very end of the week to upload that, all that stuff. Because by that point, you've already seen everybody else's stuff on YouTube and all that other coverage. So we'll do our best to try to keep all that stuff uh, pretty, uh, keep it current and keep it going as, and, and upload it as quickly as possible. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff together and get ready for my flight tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.